Hi, welcome everybody. This is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. And today I've got a Royal Model O for you. And before we get started, will you take a moment to like the video? That sure helps support us in this. Um, a lot of you, most of our viewers are, are not our customers. So when you watch and it, this helps you, this if you would take the time to give us a thumbs up and then also visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. We have ribbons, um, ink ribbons for your typewriters. We have typewriter covers. We have uh, dust, I mean, not, we also have uh, pads. And coming soon, we have typewriter art. So anytime you support, if the more who, the more of you that support us, the more we can keep this going and we sure appreciate it. Okay, so I've got a Royal Model O for you today. And let me go grab my date. I forgot to bring it over here. So this is a 1938. This is, happens to be one of our favorite models of typewriters, but it's hard to say. I mean, every time we get a typewriter, we really like it. I guess I speak for myself, but um, this is one that uh, I'm always particularly drawn to. So you can take a look, it's in excellent condition. This is just the basics. It doesn't have anything fancy on it. It's just a good working typewriter. It's small. Um, it's Most of the typewriters we deal with are considered portable, but these really are portable. They're easy to um, carry around. So ideal to take to a coffee shop or a writing group if you want. Let's take a look at how to use it. So um, you fold that back. And there's your margins, those slides, so nice. You just press down and, and drag, okay? I'm gonna bring that in. To release your carriage, there's a metal lever on each side. Pull it forward towards you and go back and forth. The carriage is only gonna move as far as you have the margins set. Uh, I'm gonna bring this over to the left. Also, up here, that is gonna determine if, um, oh, sorry, that was the roller release. I always get these two mixed up. So the one closest to the roller is the roller release, and that comes in handy if like you're trying to line something up very specifically and you kinda of need to adjust it just a little bit. Make sure it's re-engaged though because it won't advance properly. Now this one that's closer to the roller handle, that's gonna determine if you advance one or two lines, okay? Um, over, I move it over to the left so the handle doesn't scrape the top of this. I'm gonna pop this open. Inside, you're gonna see the ribbon spools. Um, we have rolled extra ribbon on this spool. This isn't the standard universal ribbon. Um, it is a plastic spool, but we, put twice the amount of ribbon. So you're getting an extra, it's like an extra roll, excuse me. It's like an extra spool of ribbon in here. So we put so much on there. Okay, so the ribbon, black on top, red on bottom. When you need to change it out, you just lift them up and you just pop them back in, a new one back in. Just make sure it's threaded through your guide wires properly. And I have an up close image, it's in the description. Click that link, you can, save the image or bookmark it for your reference. Now, when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ribbon. So you adjust it, you um, have to manually reverse the direction. Now, um, I do get comments and I appreciate it. You know, my husband failed to tell me for many months why the ribbons weren't uh, reversing. And ours do not have a grommet. So some people will say, well, your typewriter auto reverses. Well, it actually doesn't necessarily have to do with your typewriter. It has to do with the ribbon. And our ribbons do not have grommets on them. Even the ones that we purchase in bulk and buy in bulk, they do not have grommets. And the ones that we hand wind do not have grommets. So you have to manually reverse. And you just do that right here. And it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, here's your color selector. Red, black, the white is stencil. You're not going to use it, so don't ever put it on that because it's actually not going to type right. Touch control, that just determines how hard these type bars are going to strike your paper. It's just your personal preference. All right, let's go ahead and load some paper and do a typing demo. Now there's no tabs on um, this typewriter because it's just uh, not everybody uses one and this is just a real basic, doesn't have any bells or whistles, just the basics. 
And you can see my typewriter, lo uh, typewriter, my paper loaded crooked. So right here is a lever to release the tension on the paper. And you just pull that forward and now you can adjust it. And so you can move that freely, li um, line it up and then re-engage. And actually I like to come up halfway. I always forget to bring this forward. Okay, bring it up halfway to make sure it's nice and lined up. Okay. So let's go ahead and start typing. There's no number one. So you use the lowercase L. And by the way, do you see these are the original glass keys? Very, very nice. All right, I don't remember what I said. I think this is a 1938. And this has a very nice tension and bounce back on it. The Royal Model O's just always, um, always impress me. And it's a smaller font. It looks like it's a 10. CPI. Now the shift lock is different on these older ones. So you'll see down here, there's a little pin like this that sticks out. So when you press it down, you have to press it down and then push that. So you press down and push in so that the, um, the key goes underneath that pin and that's what holds the shift lock down. All right, where was I? So to unlock, then you just either side, just hit the regular, the big shift key, press it even further down that pops, pops this one out and then it releases it in case you're not familiar. I know when I'm new at something, um, okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so sometimes you're like, well, how do I know when to change the direction of my ribbon? So right here, you can see it was nice and dark and then all of a sudden the font got really light. So that's like ding, 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 time to reverse the direction of my ribbon. So I'm gonna reverse it. Let's try this again. And so now you can see it's getting nice and dark again. The other way you know is sometimes you'll see the ribbon get real tense and then depending on your typewriter, sometimes it'll just completely stop on you. All right, where were we? And I don't remember what I was saying. Two keys at once doesn't always help. So I can see this typewriter going to somebody who has, feels like they have a lot to say. They don't wanna say it verbally, but they wanna say it on paper. And so whether, and maybe they're not really interested in doing a blog post, or if they are wanting to do a blog post, but they prefer to write it out on paper first, or maybe they're writing out a memoir or something like that. Um, that's just what I'm imagining as somebody who, who would like this and, you know, take it to their favorite little nook in a, in a cafe or something like that. And they just write out all the things that they're thinking, um, you know, no matter how random it is and maybe they're not related. And so maybe it's not a whole book, but you just, they have a lot of thoughts they want to get out on paper. Um, that's what I just really feel like this is the kind of writer that this is going to most enjoy using this machine for. Um, okay, let's put it on red. Oh, okay. 
So margin release. I didn't hear the bell on that one. Um, but if it stops, that means you're at the end of your margin, so you just use that margin release. The backspace works just great. Remember, a backspace does not erase. You just type over your mistakes and then keep going. Lovely machine. Um, very sweet and pretty font. And, um, and I just get that too. It's a very sweet, but stable and, um, confident typewriter. Um, boy, I just love it. So, uh, I mean, this is the, if I wanted a machine, I have a couple typewriters, but if I want to go right somewhere other than at my house, I would take a Royal Model O because it's um, smaller than most portables. It doesn't bring a lot of attention. It's just very simple and elegant and doesn't have all the extras. It's just a good writer. So a good writer for a good writer. All right, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye.